Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we're just going to be discussing a quick topic on terms of um, how to get your background transparent when you're rendering and exporting things such as typography. Uh, maybe you want a single model exporting without any background or any images. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through, through a couple of things to make sure that's possible. So you can export as a PNG and that will allow you to either put into, um, well you can take it into Photoshop, you can take it into Premiere Pro, uh, whatever your intention. Okay, so Smokey Shorts asked for a tutorial on how to make the background uh, transparent when you're exporting and rendering. So I'm going to go through that now. Um, thank you for the comment and I love these little comments that, that allow me to go and uh, make a quick video on this process. Um, but we're going to waste no time, we're going to just get straight into it. So. As you can see, I've just got HDR loaded in, HDRI loaded in basically. And um, this is probably what you have using for lighting. If you don't, maybe you have a background scene that you don't want it being seen or, or something like that. Um, but basically I have a camera set up here. This is, let's just uh, put the camera somewhere uh, which looks half decent. I've just imported this from a previous project. Um, okay, so this will do and I'll come out of camera view. So the camera looks like this. Obviously we have the green background of the HDRI in the background here, but we don't want that obviously because we're going to take it through into Photoshop. So say you have something in the background like a cube or something behind um, your, your intending model, intended model basically. We can hide this in the render view by clicking this camera. So we can either hide it in the viewport or we can hide it in the render. So you can decide to have both hidden, but that, that's a little way of doing it, but we want a complete, clear, transparent background to export as a PNG. So we're going to delete that cube. I'm going to go to the little camera icon here and go all the way down to where it says film. And then where it says film, if you click where it says transparent, that will basically get rid of all the HDR, any lighting source that you're using. So you can click that and then when you go over to render, render image, as you can see, it's exported with a transparent background and uh, basically you can just save that as a PNG when you go to image, save as, uh, and you should be fine to yeah, take that through into Photoshop or Premiere Pro, After Effects, whatever you need. I'm getting, getting close to 250 subscribers on the channel, so if you find these videos uh, useful, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next quick tutorial very soon. Bye-bye.